Hello, good morning. Today is day six here and we are going to two museums today. We're going to the Museum d'Orsay and then we're also going to the Music Museum afterwards. And then later this evening, we're gonna go to the Philharmonic. So we got to dress fancy for that. Should be fun. I brought my fancy dress and my fancy shoes. Yeah. We had free time yesterday after we went to the Rodin Museum and um, we didn't end up going to the Pantheon. I think that we're gonna save that for another day just because all this going and going and going, everybody is like really exhausted. So we're kind of trying to conserve our energy and doing what we can. I know like, at least for me and a couple others, we just, um, after exploring for a little bit and eating something, we just kind of want to go back to the dorm and just rest, rest up. Because I want to be able to enjoy everything, you know? And um, I can't do that if I'm super tired. So <laughs> I think it's best to possibly leave some things out just for now, just to save them for another day, maybe next week, kind of when we're more used to like the time change, because I'm still getting used to it. Um, like I said, um, after the Rodin Museum, we kind of just um, hung out, got something to eat. Um, we were out for a little bit. <clears throat> I went shopping, that's fun, shopping in Paris. Um, and then we came back to the dorms around 8, 8.30ish, I think, and um, I took a nap, and I woke up, like, I slept, and I slept, and I didn't wake up till, like, 2.30 in the morning, I couldn't go back to sleep, so I was just editing videos, and then, um, it was already gonna be 5 o'clock, and I was tired, but I couldn't really fall asleep, so I just showered, and that helped me relax a little, and I did end up falling asleep, and I didn't wake up till, like, 8.15 today, so I'm pretty well rested. <laughs> Hopefully I can make it through the day without feeling like I have to come back to the dorm and sleep again because I'm, I need to get used to this time zone change. All right, well, let's start the day. the Museum d'Orsay. We just got here. Um, we're gonna see a lot of post-impressionalism art. Uh, there's some Rousseau's, Van Gogh's, so it should be a pretty interesting day today. Oh, fun fact in case you didn't know, this museum actually used to be a train station and now it's a museum where you can see all this art. Update. I think I'm lost. I was waiting outside for everybody to go use the bathrooms and it's been about five minutes and nobody came back out so I went to go to the bathrooms and nobody's there so now I'm alone. Time to find somebody. She gives it more dimension. Who <laughs> <laughs> suggested the tat? Is it Me. No. That's what you're gonna get tatted. Like, yeah. That's Moe's. <laughs> no one else gets all the tat. become part of the art work. <laughs> what are those? This 
piece is by Mane and in my art history class I remember learning about it and basically it was super super scandalous for its time because this, the woman is naked for no apparent reason before when women were painted nude um, it was like for like when they would depict like religion and stuff or to tell a story but she's just naked for no reason and she's looking straight at the camera not at the camera but like straight at the audience it's like very scandalous for its time Hey MTV, welcome to my crib. 